and we're live. Hello everybody. So we're going to make our competition template project here. We'll go into Robot Mesh Studio. Uh, I am going to log myself in. Alrighty, so uh, first things first, we'll just, I've got some projects, we'll just go ahead and create a new one here. For our target, we will pick our V5, V5 brain, we'll do block leaf for our language, and we are here to talk about the competition template, so we can click on this little box that says competition template, and we are off to the races. And that will automatically add in for us everything we need. So here we are. We've got a place for our autonomous code, we've got a place for our driver code, and we've got a place for all the other code we could want. So I will start out here with... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect the robot and then we'll be right back. And once we've got our robot all set up, we can start uh, programming it. So all we do is let's write ourselves a little uh, autonomous program here. So we'll uh, drive forward, we'll have that go for, I don't know, it's about two feet to the first uh, first thing we might want to score this year, right? So let's, uh, let's go backwards. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do a turn. And uh, let's uh, try and go forward and hit the other flag, right? So there we go. That's a uh, simple little autonomous program. So that'll try and start up, uh, start up whenever we switch our robot over to autonomous mode. Uh, we probably want to be able to drive it for the remaining minute 45 of the match. So we can add some commands for that. So we'll go ahead and command our motors here. We'll add in something for our left motor. Add in a guy for our right motor. And we will control those with our controller. Which we have not set up. But that's easy to fix. Bam, we've got a controller. So our left motor is going to be commanded by axis 3. And our right motor by axis 2. And then uh, let's just add a little something here for ourselves if we try and uh, run this code on a robot so to let us know that uh, we have successfully started the program. So we can say program start. And voila, there is a super simple little competition, competition code for a uh, pushbot. So we can see here when we're in driver mode, we want it to be responding with a tank drive to our joystick. And when we're in autonomous mode, we're going to do these four little moves. And that's going to be our simple little autonomous. You can make this big and complicated. Uh, you don't need to worry about you know how big and complicated this is because the uh, competition template will stop that for you whenever uh, the timer runs out on autonomous. So you don't need to worry about that. And same over here for driver control. You can use repeat forevers if you want to. And if for whatever reason you leave driver control, uh, it will stop that for you and do whatever is right. Uh, anything you run down here, anything you run down here in this block will go forever. So uh, you don't want to put any, you don't want to put any motor commands down here because motor commands down here will not know where they are in the match, which is bad. So yeah, keep your motor commands up here under driver and autonomous, and everything will be okay. I think that's all I got to show you guys for today, so let's hand it back to those guys.